knew that I loved the the bit the, the kind of central image of this character who's seen in the night with this huge wickerwork nose strapped to his face and with hot burning coals in the end and he's searching through the night for his lost love and I just thought that was just, just a fantastic image and I'd love to see it as a three person puppet The Dawn with the Luminous Nose is a sequel to a poem called The Junglies which people might be more familiar with in which some little characters go to sea in a sieve they're tiny characters and their heads are green and their hands are blue and they're going to when they come home again after their tour, they're, they're very happy with themselves, very, very pleased with themselves. So if you imagine, we're, we're, we're seeing what happens to one character in the aftermath of one of their visits. So these junglies arrive in a bundle of energy onto the shoreline and they're there for a while. He falls in love with the jungly girl and then they kind of disappear unexplained one day and he's left feeling very bereft. And so you've got the junglies poem, which was written in, I don't know, 1871 I think and that's quite buoyant in, in its tone even though it's quite satirical in some ways. The Dawn with the Luminous Nose it has a kind of darker element. It's still playful, it's still fun, it's still expressive in, in, in really interesting ways but it's a kind of dark kind of undertone and I guess I like the, the tension between those two things and I, and I guess that's one of the things we want to, to get in this production is match the playfulness visually and match the absurdity uh, playfully but also have a kind of like an emotional sort of through line if you like.